Now look at this. Hold my dick, motherfucker! Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I have a special a special guest for you guys. Go ahead, guest, and introduce yourself. It's time for a jackpot, motherfuckers. JD from New York, guys. What's up? <laughs> As you already know, JD, what's going on? <laughs> Not much, Godly. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, JD, y'all, JD is very outspoken and just don't give a fuck. I love it. So, <laughs> anyways. I don't give a fuck about anything. I hate Treyarch. I hate Vondahar. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Definitely. <laughs> so, most of people, well, I hear this shit all the time. Um, Call of Duty is the best game ever. Yeah. I don't know what fucking game they're playing. Because it ain't the same motherfucker that I'm playing. And you know they got a new map pack coming out, which is another way to fucking get money. I think it comes out with, I think July 2nd. Uh, yeah, July, July 2nd for the Xbox, and it's just another cash grab by Treyarch. What old map can we ruin this time? So they're doing it with Summit, <laughs> which is a disgrace in my opinion. Exactly. Well, I'm pretty sure, though, those that fucking ride his dick already have the maps and shit. But, <laughs> you know, you think he fucked up Summit? He definitely fucked up something. If he fucked up Firing Range, which is probably my favorite map ever, he definitely fucked up something. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And you know, I don't know if you know this or not, and some of the other people may not know, but I, have, I haven't I have bought any of the fucking maps. I just, I absolutely refuse to give that motherfucker any more of my money. Any more. You know, I just... Well, I, I gave know. him. I gave him my fifty bucks, and uh, you know, like I, like I usually say on my channel, it's I I did it for my channel just to expose the game the way uh, the, I've been doing, and that's it. I play it for my audience. I play it for you guys, and that's it. And I don't I don't really give a shit what they do because we know the game is fucking dead and buried already, so it doesn't even matter to me. Yeah, exactly. And I say that if Ghost seriously, if Ghost doesn't come back and just you know blow us away, fucking Cod is dead to me right now. It's on fucking life support. So, it's got to be something that's just, you know, I don't know, because it's shit right now. It's got to well, be if, something. Well, it, well if, if, you, if you actually listened to Fisticuffs yesterday, he made an amazing, an amazing point. He said that Xbox actually switched over uh, their used game policies and, you know, uh, you know, having to check in every 24 hours. Now, if Microsoft listened to their audience, which was completely outspoken, and reversed what they originally had planned, why can't Activision and Treyarch do that same thing? It just goes to show you that Treyarch and Activision don't mm -hmm. care about what we think, and we're the ones signing their paychecks. Exactly. Well, that's the shit that pisses me off. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing, you know, like, I would have so much fucking respect for Vaughn if he just came out and be like, you know what? I fucked up. We fucked up. Let us make it better. But he doesn't even fucking acknowledge people, you know, unless you're a dick rider. He don't fucking even acknowledge anything you have to say. But like I said, I'd have respect for him if he just fucking came out and be like, sorry, dude, you know, we fucked up. But no, he don't even do that. He fucking blocked me, but whatever. <laughs> Kiss my ass. You, he, he blocked you and, uh, and came out and blocked me, so one-on-one. Uh, you know, -on -one. <laughs> well, you know, what's funny, though, is that I called him, oh, man, I started out really nice, you know, really respectful, and then it just kind of escalated and escalated, and... He would never fucking answer me. And that's what pissed me off. You know, it's just like, seriously, I'm like a fucking customer. At least acknowledge me. And then I started talking shit about optic gaming. <laughs> and then after that, game over. Yeah, I well, said, you, you committed the mortal sin there. I, he, actually, he actually replied back to me. I, I actually tweeted him a bottle of this beer that I drank back in April called uh, Brooklyn Black Ops. And I'm like, hey, Vaughn, look, at least I had uh, a couple of glasses of beer and I, I didn't lag for the rest of the night. And he's like, he's like, well, have maybe three or four of them and you'll start lagging. He, he was sarcastic with me, which was kind of cool. But, it, it, you know, it's, it just goes to show you that he's a sarcastic dick anyway. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, he is seriously, single-handedly fucked up the whole Call of Duty experience for me. You know? I, it's a piece of shit. I get on there now just pretty much to get fucking gameplay for my channel. It's like a must. Other than that, I, I just, I have absolutely 
no uh, no desire. No fucking desire to play that's, that fucking game. That's the only reason why I do it. I, I, uh, I upload a live commentary once a week on Black Ops 2. I get 200 or so likes, you know, within the first 24 hours of putting it up, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And I, I'll say it again. The only reason why I'm playing Black Ops 2 is to use them for... <laughs> For the for you know for them using us you yeah know, they used us and you know had us suckered in so I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking suck this game dry for every cent that I can get out of it. Oh man, you know that kind of goes with the Xbox One and shit. All this new shit coming out. I learned. I, I seriously learned with Black Ops Two. The fucking that I got, I am not gonna jump through my ass to go get any new product anymore. I ain't taking my ass down a GameStop at midnight to get anything, any fucking more. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see what the reviews are. I ain't playing this shit again. You know, I really got a fucking. I got a fucking. No spit, no lube, kind of fucking. You know, <laughs> it's bad. Well, uh, I, I made I made the mistake of being overly excited for Black Ops too, because I was you know I was you know starting on my channel and you know I, you know I figured I could build my channel decently with Black Ops too, and I got invited to uh, the MTV Studios here in Times Square in Manhattan, and I got uh, invited by Spike TV to play the game live before it was released at midnight. Oh shit! And, and, and it was it was just a complete crock of shit. And then when I actually got the fucking game, you know that next day my PlayStation crashed like four or five times because the game was not even coded the right way for PlayStation. They they, they catered to the Xbox fucking pussies, MLG, you know, because that's where they game, and my PlayStation was on the verge of being fucking destroyed because I bought their shit game. <laughs> exactly. They do. I mean, without a doubt, they fucking cater to it. This game is whack. If you're by yourself, it's absolutely horse shit. There's no way of fucking playing it. I get the dumbest motherfuckers on my team every single game. You know, it, it, it's just... It's unplayable to begin with, and then when you add a bunch of ignorant motherfuckers into the mix, it's just really ridiculous, but, man. I, 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 could, I could go on for days about what's <laughs> wrong with the game. I, I mean, it, it's, it's just the, the one thing that pisses me off, and everybody asks me, J.D., what is the one thing you'd fix about the game? I can handle the fucking lag. I can handle the lag if it comes in small doses, but when... You're fucking pumping, and you know I know you. I know you like to snipe, mm -hmm. and I have nothing against that. But I, I'm an assault rifle guy. If I'm pumping forty fucking bullets into one guy and he's not dead, and he comes around and you know drop shots me out of nowhere, and I'm dead instantly, there's a fucking problem there. Yeah. The hit detection, even in Black Ops One, Treyarch doesn't know what they're doing with their games, and that's what pisses me off. People want to know why I rage. I rage because I paid fucking ninety dollars for this piece of shit. I want it to work the right way. Exactly. <laughs> yep, that's what I said. You know, the and game, it, it, the game itself, yeah, it's good, or it had the potential. I've been desperately trying to find the interviews where Vondahar was like, "Yeah, we, we uh, we're trying to stop, put a halt to the camping, and, and this and that." You know, he, the, you know, the hunter killer uh, is deflected by flak jacket, this and that. You know, RCXD, if you're having that, and you have flak jacket on, you'll be protected. None of the shit he said came true. When no. a hunter killer comes, that comes at me and I still have black, that black jacket on, I'm dead. Yeah. You know, you got shocks, put fucking pussies camp behind shock charges, sitting in a room, you know. <laughs> it, but they promote, the, they, they don't, they don't want to, you know, you know, go with the camping style. But, you know, obviously they built this game for the scrub player. Exactly. They don't want to go with the camping style, but you give a motherfucker fucking target finders and all kinds of fucking attachments and bullshit. But you, you don't want to cater to that? Get the fuck out of here. I honestly think whoever whoever built Black Ops One uh, is no longer working for Treyarch <laughs> Tri because it's not the same fucking game. Mm -hmm. Give me uh, give me a Galil, give me a Commando with a red dot and sleight of hand pro, and that's all I need. Now I I'm I'm still to this day trying to configure fucking classes just to combat the bullshit that goes on in the game. I'm running around with six <laughs> fucking perks and no attachments on my gun. Exactly. Just because, just because I can escape shotgun, I need to put lightweight on just to even fucking have a chance. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, assault rifles, they're fucking non-existent in Black Ops 2. It's fucking SMG and snipers that really, uh, fucking shotguns, you know? But assault rifle, assault rifles are completely not in this fucking game. They're another shit. Thing people ask me, what's, the, what's, what's another thing you'd fix? What are the things you'd fix? The hit detection is number one, but <laughs> take flak jacket, and I say this all the time on Twitter, take it out of the fucking game or give it a nerf. When, I, when I'm smashing somebody in the face with C4 and he has a fucking vest on, yet survives and shoots me with one bullet and I'm dead, 
there's a, there's a, pro, there's a problem there. There's and an I issue. I even said in one of my live commentaries, Von Dahar, you put a fucking vest on and let me throw C4 at you and let me see if you're fucking surviving. <laughs> Exactly. Why not fucking put some betas out there and let you know fucking test this shit instead of just fucking throwing it out there. Oh, we're, te we're testing the game now. Yeah. And when Ghosts comes out, Black Ops 2 will be running fine. Oh, definitely. That's what it does. It seems, I mean, patch after patch. It's just ridiculous, man. This fucking game is ass. It's been ass since the very beginning. I've said it and I stick by it. It's fucking shit. You know, I hope to God, Ghost. Oh man, it's got to be. I don't have any. I don't have any hope for ghosts. I'm going into this with the lowest expectation possible. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like meeting a girl for the first time and going on a on a date. You know, I, I'm not having any expectations at all because yep. usually when that happens and I, you know, I'm I, I think I might be interested in her. I'm, I give myself all these all these expectations. You know, it's going to be a great date and ends up being a fucking shit date. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same thing with Call of Duty. I'm not doing it this time. Exactly. That's my thought. Hope for the best and expect the worst. Because that's, that's where it's going. So, all right, guys. That's what I got for you guys. I, I thank you, JD, so much for coming over and, and kicking it with me and talking about this. And, man, right. like I said. I appreciate you having me. It's, uh, it's a great time. Hopefully, we can do this again. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.